Like your AI says it's building robots that will build more robots. The rising Silicon Valley startup just unveiled its BotQ smart manufacturing facility, designed to produce 12,000 humanoids a year. Also, Tesla's Optimus humanoid robot could be headed to Mars next year. Figures plans call for 100,000 robots within the next four years. The robot factory is on Figure's new San Jose campus, where the company intends to launch new facilities every 90 days. Figure is building out the high-rate manufacturing facility as it develops the next-generation version of its flagship humanoid, which will presumably be called the Figure 3. The company shared a stylized video showing industrial robots putting the finishing touches on a Figure 3 head. On the X social media platform, figure founder Brett Adcock said BotQ will be the world's largest humanoid robot factory by volume. It will be the second facility for mass producing humanoids in the United States. Agility Robotics opened the first plant in late 2024 in Salem, Oregon, where the company plans to scale to 10,000 units a year. Like figure, Agility Robotics is also busy developing the next-generation version of its humanoid digit. Meanwhile, Tesla plans to manufacture 10,000 Optimus humanoid robots by the end of 2025, though Elon Musk has admitted the target is aspirational. The perceived leaders in the emerging market are racing to mass-produce their AI robots amid an escalating technological arms race with China. Shanghai-based Agibot says it's already started manufacturing humanoids at scale, with a thousand robots coming off its production lines in 2024. According to Figure, the third-generation robot is designed from the ground up for high-rate manufacturing. In a blog post, the company predicted that Figure 3 robots will be working on the production floor this year, building machines just like them. That ambition is shared by another perceived humanoid robotics leader, Texas-based Apptronic, which is working with Google DeepMind and manufacturing services Giant Jabble to accelerate mass production of its Apollo humanoids. A small fleet of Figure 2 humanoids were deployed at the BMW plant in Spartanburg, South Carolina in January 2025 after a pilot program the prior year. The robots have also been put to work for another major unnamed customer for logistics. They're powered by Figure's self-developed AI system called Helix. Okay, I'd like to try something new. Even though this is the very first time that you've ever seen these items, I'd like you to use your new Helix AI and try to reason through where you think they belong in the scene and then work together to put them away. Does that sound good? Adcock is so confident in the end-to-end -end neural network that he's pushed home testing forward two years. Figures Marketing has recently started emphasizing household use cases after initially focusing on industrial applications. For the consumer market, Figure faces competition from another well-funded startup, 1X Technologies, which plans to test its Neo-Gamma humanoids in select homes this year. Figure's high-volume factory is designed to expand quickly. Engineers spent six months architecting a Manufacturing Execution System, or MES, that tracks every step of the production process. Info from Figure's website, blog posts, and job listings indicate they use Dasso Innovia for product lifecycle management, Oracle NetSuite for enterprise resource planning, and a warehouse management system integration for tracking inventory. They've switched from CNC machining to injection molding and die casting to speed up production. Parts that previously took a week to make now take under 20 seconds. Figure says it's making parts in-house due to supply chain challenges. Figure is seen as one of the more formidable competitors to Tesla, which already has extensive experience scaling production of complex systems. The EV maker's Optimus humanoid robot is shown here in a photo shoot with Kim Kardashian for Perfect Magazine. The biannual magazine focuses on luxury fashion imagery. 
The pictures appear to be from November 2024, when Kardashian shared videos of her interacting with a Tesla bot. I love you. <gasps> you know how to do that? Okay. What should we do? Go running. Let's go for a run. She also shared clips of a gold optimist in a cyber truck. Meanwhile, an earlier Tesla bot prototype was targeted by climate activists at a Tesla dealership in London. Two protesters poured orange liquid latex over the Optimus prototype displayed in the facility. The activists were identified as a 74-year-old retired teacher and a 63-year-old retired tax advisor. During the demonstration, they criticized Musk's role in the Department of Government Efficiency's efforts to dramatically scale back the U.S. federal government for the Trump administration and for allowing extreme voices on his social media platform. In between posts throwing shots at Democrats, Musk just said his company SpaceX plans to send a Tesla Optimus robot to Mars in 2026. The robot will travel via the aerospace manufacturer's Starship rocket, which departs at the end of 2026. During the mission, the Tesla bot will help assess autonomous operations and prepare for subsequent space missions. If the uncrewed mission is successful, Musk said humans could potentially land on the red planet by 2029 or 2031. Tesla plans to start scaling production of its Optimus bots in 2025 for internal use and offer them more widely in 2026. China also apparently plans to send a humanoid robot into space as part of its lunar mission plan for 2028. The voyage aims to explore the moon's south pole and test terraforming methods for future lunar bases. China plans to establish a permanent research station for scientific research and resources on the moon. NASA's robotnaut R2 became the first humanoid robot to space travel in 2011 when it was launched to the International Space Station. The space agency is actively developing its next-generation space humanoid, Valkyrie, which could eventually assist during Mars missions. In 2013, Japan sent a small robot named Kurobo to the ISS to serve as a companion for Koichi Wakata, the first Japanese commander of the ISS. And in 2019, Russia's gun-toting Feta robot traveled aboard the Soyuz MS-14 to test how humanoids could take on repetitive and hazardous tasks for astronauts. The Indian Space Research Organization has also developed a humanoid robot named Vyamitra to simulate human functions and assist astronauts during its planned Gaganyaan mission. For more on the past, present, and future of space humanoids, check the related video.